and lava bucket then. I don't think that's gonna work either. Let's get off of that. Hey! That's what we came here for. Only problem is... This is gonna be a problem. Try and light some of this area up. Wonder if I can get the creeper to blow up. And kill everything. That'll be a good idea. I'm gonna try and light this area as best as I can. Let's not look at the centerman though. Great. Our arch nemesis. The skeleton. Okay, let's try and kill this little guy. Appreciate he stood still for us. And some things actually just died to the lava, so we might be okay here. I got some of them to walk close to the lava. I can kind of. Okay, we're gonna grab these diamonds. Maybe not. Maybe not. Something's following me. Looks like both of the zombies. Or all of the zombies, whatever. How many zombies are there? This is the guy I want to kill. Push him back. There we go. Let's see if we can push him back into the lava. That's good enough. Now, where was these diamonds at? Here? Yeah. Alright. We got two diamonds. We accomplished our goal. For this episode at least. But... Not really. Nice. That actually worked perfect. I'm trying to block this. Well, light this all up. Look at that. There's a lot of Endermen down here. For some reason. We have most of this area lit up. Except for over here. I'm just gonna try and get this thing to explode, maybe. No, we're, we're good. We've got plenty of time to... Never mind. <laughs> Exploded for me anyway. So we do have to be careful. I'm gonna try and light this all up up top. So nothing spawns directly around me. I'm gonna try and get the staircase done as quick as I can. I'm gonna gather a little bit of these resources while I'm here. But I'm gonna try and keep moving. So I think the best... way to do this. Which way are we going? Going this way. We'll be... to do this from the water. For now. Oh yeah. This might actually... pour the right way for us. Hopefully this breaks before I start drowning. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Just in time. Okay, I have to break some of this. So I'm gonna break all this. I'm gonna let this fall. 
let all this fall into the void. This. This. Actually, I might be able to. No, I'm not gonna be able to leave it. Cleared out some of this area. Now we build down to let this flow outwards. Oops. There we go. These zombies are not happy. strategy going here. Up. Up. Another one. And we can go back up. Never done it like this before, but this is actually a good strategy. Now that I know. Close to the bottom. Back up. We're gonna have to kill these zombies first. They're gonna become a problem. Nice. Okay, we're officially out of food. So we've gotta get this done. And then I might go back up there, see how much wheat we have. Hello, Excuse motherfucker. Me. What do you think you're doing? That sounded like a creeper. That's just a zombie. I have to deal with this again. Are there multiple zombies here? Or did I just get two zombie sounds in one? Cool. Now it's getting hard to see what I'm doing. At this point, I can just... Perfect. And I can go scoop this water up. All good. Gonna try and build these walls up. Almost there. Then we can just keep digging down and go back to the time lapse. And we'll get out of here. Now comes the hard part. Digging through this deep slate. Here's my other question. Can anything get up here? Spiders could. Which isn't something we want to deal with either. So maybe I do just build it off like at the top. Just because I really don't want anything getting in here. So where can I build from? Is that going to be the perfect height? This is going to really suck. This is a pain, but I'm getting rid of my cobblestone at least. That I'm probably not going to use. And this seems like it's correct, so. Maybe I'll build a door. Out to this big cave entrance. I wonder how far down we are. Oops, did not mean to do that. And 
just cover these holes here. This. All right. Now that we did that, that was fun, right? Just have to build this last part off, and then we'll be back in business. All right. We're completely blocked off from the outside. Safe as can be. I say that, and then there's another hole right here. Because we are still next to a cave. My pickaxe. Wait, did I make another one? Yeah, I did. Okay. We're good then. Alright. Back to the time lapse. Alright, we hit another cave. Of course. And this time... We're not very far off from where we need to be. About 43 blocks from where I want to be. Um, let's look at our... Okay. This shouldn't be an issue. Because... Um, maybe it will be. Okay, let me try and get down. All we gotta do is just speed run this. Just don't mind me. Oh, you minded me. You jerk bag. No. Please don't blow up my staircase. Please don't blow up my staircase. You can blow up over there. Don't blow my staircase up. Okay. Oh, cobble. Time to use deep slate, huh? Now we gotta do this again. I'm gonna use the staircase strategy for this. And I did it wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Of course I did. Oh, wait. I made the staircase wrong. Well, that's not good. Alright. We're just gonna have a section where it's a little bit messed up. Sorry. Right. I don't even know if I have enough deep slate for this. I don't think I do. Actually, wait. I can save this, right? Two thousand years later. Okay, let's keep digging. Hey, found diamonds. We almost hit the bottom. So now we've got four diamonds, right? Yeah. And the first thing we want to make is always going to be a pick for this. Just because... This deep slate takes forever. And my pickaxe is going to break. Right before we get down there. Check this out. 52. We're not going to make it. But... I'm going to go until my pickaxe breaks. Gonna be real soon. There it goes. But hey, we have ourselves a mine shaft. Now the problem is, man, it's gonna take me forever to get back up here. So, the plan is to build a rail, and speed this process up of getting back up here. So we're probably gonna build a rail. Hopefully we find an abandoned mine shaft at some point, so I can just steal some rails from there. Maybe if we venture into that big cave, we'll find one. 
because this is gonna suck coming up and down this every time. And we see the light of day for the first time in who knows how long. Many Minecraft days. And we're gonna sleep because we earned it. So I'm actually just gonna make a pick now. Screw it. We're gonna need it. Why not just use it now? Let's get some food. See how much food we got. Lots of carrots. And by the way, we got a good bit of gold there. I'm digging down. Which is good. Because eventually, if I can get as enough gold to live off golden carrots for a while, that's going to be huge because golden carrots give you the most bang for the buck. Well, I guess not really because you use gold for them, but per food item, they last the longest. They give you the most saturation. And you know what? I should have just chopped the whole thing down, but I don't want to. Okay. So we ended up with 27 wheat. That's 9 more bread. Which isn't going to last us too long, but good enough. I almost have enough seeds. Get us the whole way across. Our farm's growing. Get some more potatoes going. The wheat is really popping off, but... And we got a bunch of carrots now, too. Look at that. Alright. So we built a farm this episode so far. We got some diamonds. Um, we conquered our nemesis, the skeleton spawner. We got cat, the music disc, and some diamond horse armor, a name tag, some slime balls, some useful stuff here. I need to craft a new shield because my shield is almost dead. So I'm gonna craft another shield and just chuck this shield. We got a bunch of copper which we could build with eventually. I do love the look of blue copper but it also takes forever to oxidize copper. So that's an option, but probably not going to do that. Um, now that we started getting deep slate, whenever we decide to build a new base, we have the option to use deep slate now because we're definitely going to get a lot more mining down here. Because diamonds are the one of the few ores in this game now that you actually find more of them not in caves when you're strip mining like iron and coal you find more of those in caves now which I'm not a fan of but they changed that a while ago I believe when they changed iron from raw or from iron ore to raw iron is when that changed. So, and we did hit bedrock here. So let's look at where we're at. Fifty nine. I think I'm gonna go to fifty eight. I believe that should be high enough so that no bedrock will spawn. Which means we won't get any diamonds taken away from us. 
from the spawn of bedrock. But the the lower the better. See? I already found diamonds. Look at that, five. So we're gonna need... Let me make sure I get this right. I believe we're gonna need two for an enchantment table. We're gonna need... Two for a sword, three for an axe, one for a shovel. So that's six. And then... I don't remember the exact number for armor. But man, is this giving me a lot. I already have 11. Lapis will take that. Always in need of some levels, so... So, uh, my PC just completely crashed when I broke that lapis. And, uh, as you can see... My diamonds are gone. I mined them. It shows that I mined them. But, um... No diamonds to be found. Which is really unfortunate because... That was a lot of diamonds. But... We... Move on. There's always more diamonds to find. But man, is that frustrating. And I purposely left that lapis back there this time because I do not trust breaking that lapis again. Because as soon as I broke it and there was bedrock under there, my PC decided to crash. So I'm just going to not do that. Not sure if that's the reason. It's probably not the reason. But just in case it was... I'm just not going to break that. Man, that's frustrating. Because look, now... I can't find a diamond in sight. Hopefully my whole world didn't get corrupted somehow. That would be really... Really weird, but... This is starting to get concerning. At the lack of anything down here. But yeah, I, I broke that lapis. And I thought my game just froze. And then I tried to all tab out of the game, and... I couldn't do that. I couldn't move anything. Couldn't open up my start menu and windows or anything. So I just had to uh, turn my PC off. Unfortunate. But the good news is the recording didn't didn't get corrupted. I don't think so. That would have been really upsetting, as if that whole recording just went to garbage. Because that was an hour long recording. Okay, so things do exist down here. Good to know. But I haven't found a single diamond since. It's really upsetting. Okay, we're gonna go in this direction. We're gonna go back to where we were. I'm gonna go perpendicular to where I was just mining. Um, where's the stairs? Right here? No. You idiot. Down here. Okay, so let's go back this way. I believe eventually we're gonna hit a cave. Possibly. Not sure if the cave reached all the way down here or not, but... Or we're gonna hit lava or something and then have to turn around. But, I do have to collect some obsidian. For an enchanting table and also another portal. So we're gonna need some of that. Ooh, okay. Now I'm paranoid that I'm gonna crash my game again. Well, I guess crash my whole PC. That's what I did. I'm not a fan of all these lava noises around. I'm a little bit worried. Alright. Some more. 
Man, there's a pit of lava to my left. I think I'm gonna go up and over this to see if I can actually get to the pit and pour water over it. But there's definitely a pit of lava around me. So I'm gonna actually be a little bit more careful and dig farther away from, from where I'm standing. Just in case lava comes out and I um, need to react. I do have a water bucket on me, so if something does happen. I could just pour the water on myself, but so the lava seems to be subsiding. And then I just hit a huge thing of tough. Huge thing of tough. What the heck? Really? There we go. We're getting out of it. Maybe not. Thank you, game, for being scary. Alright, I think it's time to turn around. So instead of turning around, turning around, I'm just gonna do this. Actually, I'm out of torches. I don't have coal on me. So, maybe I'm not going to do that. What do we got? 10? It's really unfortunate. We still haven't even gotten back what we had before. We had 11 before. I just tried to place a torch. Okay. So, we're going to go back this way. And then I have to make the... Long trek all the way up. I wonder if we can find this. It's not like it was kind of this way a little bit, too. I don't have torches. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go get torches first. I really need to build a rail system. This is gonna get it old really quick. I don't have the... Iron... Or the wood to do that. And my game's gonna get real laggy in a second here. Alright, so we have 11 diamonds. I might as well just make two. Oh, one of these. One of these. One of these. Neat. Okay. We got five left over. I'll build a helmet too. Can I build an armor stand? No. Is that even possible to build an armor stand? I'm not sure. I think it is. Let's get some more food. I need to make more torches while I'm up here. And we're going to see where we're at with this. I think that might be enough seeds now. To completely cover my wheat portion of the field. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, it is. Beautiful. So we got that. Sixteen gold. I got ten bread now. Starting to build back up our food supply with wheat at least. Because now we're full on our farm. And then the other thing I came up here for was this. I'm just gonna turn these all into sticks, why not? I'm just gonna make all this into torches as well. I'm going to need to make a better 
a larger storage system here soon. I guess I could put another chest above that one. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Perfect. Alright, empty inventory. That's what I like to see. Keep my water bucket on me at all times. And, um... I'm just about out of time for this one, so I think I'm going to call it here. We got a lot done. Full iron tools and, or, excuse me, full diamond tools and a helmet as well. We have a nice farm going. We have a whole mine shaft ready to go, so in the next episode I'm going to continue mining for diamonds. I'm going to gather resources for a nether portal and an enchantment table we're gonna get books somehow um not really sure how we're gonna do that but um and then we'll probably also make friends with the villagers over here and see if we can get some more of them but for now um that's it for this video thank you everybody so much for watching uh if you like the video make sure you leave a like Comment down below if you would like to see me play another game. And uh, subscribe if you want more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.